All right, Nip Kugara, and we are here to do an updated tutorial on the Essentials plugin. It's just a good list of commands that you can use in your daily life. Now, to start off with communication, you have slash mail. You have a player that you're trying to talk with, the, they're offline. You can do slash mail send, type in the player's name, and just type a message. The message is sent, and when they get online, they can do slash mail read and see who has been sending the mail. Whenever you're done with that, slash mail clear. Ta-da, it's pretty easy. Now, if the player is online, you can type slash message, me, slash message their username, and then whatever you want to tell them. Now, I'm just messaging myself. So on one end, you say it shows the like sending message, and then the other, the receiving one. Now, if you want to quickly reply, you're really busy fighting off the zombies, you type slash R, space, whatever your message, stuff like that. All right, next, if the person's annoying you, can you type slash ignore? So, well... As you can see, I can type messages, but I won't see the message sent to me. So now I can unignore them. Next, you do slash recipe. So if I pull up a block that I want to look at, I can do slash recipe and then oak underscore planks. And look at that. That's how you can craft oak planks. Very easy. Be able to see things that you don't necessarily know how to make. Next, you got slash warp. Now, in the earth world, there's the warp to the end portal. And then in Skyblock, there's the warp to the Skyblock Mine. The, both these warps can be very helpful for your regular life and can be pretty awesome. So you, now we get to be here, show you guys this amazing little spot in our world. So it looks pretty cool. All right. And next, you got slash kits. So these are different kits you can get. Now, most all these kits are unlocked using our wonderful uh, quest system. So you can check out another video to see how our quests work. Next, you can use slash book, and I'm not holding a book, so if I give myself Nibkugar, uh, let's see here, pen and, nope, book and quill? Nope, not bookshelf. You know what? You guys can figure out the idea. Just figure out for yourselves. I believe in you. Next, you can use slash set home. Depending on how many homes you're allowed to have, which depends on what rank you are in our wonderful server, you can then do slash home, see your different ones, and I can do slash home home, and in five seconds, it'll teleport me there. And once I don't need that home anymore, I can, in two seconds, bam, now I don't have that home anymore. Next, you can get position, you can get where you are. Basically, it's like F3, but it, it's less of a cluster on the screen. Next, you can do slash hat, which if I grab something, I can do slash hat, bam, now it's on my head. Now I'm made of planks of wood. Very cool. I want to see my beautiful Minecraft skin again, though, so we're going to take that off. Next, you can do slash list. This will just show you what players are where, and yeah. So it will show you like what world being the permission system, since all of our worlds set work on their own permission groups. Next, you can do slash who, oh, yeah, slash who is name, and bam, it shows you a whole bunch of information about that. And next, you can do slash real name and do bam in case somebody has a nickname. Since I'm not owner of Nibkogara, I'm just Nibkogara. And you got a few more. Bear with me, just a few more commands. You got slash scene. You can do that and then player's name to see how long they've been online for or when the last time they logged off was. And finally is the wonderful thing of slash TPA. So you do slash TPA, another player. Now you can't really do it to yourself, but all you have to do is teleport to a player and they do slash TP accept to allow you to teleport to them. You can do slash TPA here to be able to have a player try to teleport to you and always TPA cancel that. If you don't want to actually do the teleport, just bzz, hit the cancel button. All right, well, that's all the commands for our wonderful Essentials plugin. I hope you're able to enjoy them on the Phoenix Craft server. Have a wonderful day.